Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I am going to complete our linear regression series and in this video I am going to implement or I am going to create a very basic project that is uh, to predict salaries on the basis of year of experience. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the coding. So guys, this is the code that we wrote in the last video. So let's just run this and we will see whether it will work or not in today's video. So first of all, we need to import some uh, values also or some libraries so let's import that import numpy as np import pandas as pd and import matplotlib dot pyplot pyplot as plt okay so we have this now i am going to get the data so for that uh, what i'm going to do is df df equal to uh, pd dot read underscore csv and here we have our data so let's take properties let's so we have i need to take the salary linear regression salary let's go linear let's go regression dot csv okay so let's see this data and we have our data like this so year of experience and the salary so we have 1.1 year of experience so the salary is 39,000 then we have 1.3 the salary is 46,000 then we have 1.5 the salary is 37,000 so this is how we are going to predict this uh, this is going to be our x and this is going to be our y okay so a good thing to do with our data that we should normalize our data always so let's take values like df and years experience uh, this is this will be our x and salary will be this okay dot values i guess we can use this function so it is not showing okay so what uh, it is still a data frame so i can change them as let's take np equal to np dot array i can take x and y equal to np dot array y so now we have np arrays and these are the values so now if you will see we do not have very big values but sometimes what can happen that you can have numbers like 200 300 in your x values so it is better to normalize the, you know, your data and why i am saying that i am saying that because what we can uh, basically do is let's suppose there are two reasons behind why should we normalize our data so the first reason is if you will have a bigger number or if you have a, a big data then your uh, thetas will also be big or your error will also be big so it could take too much time to converge to the minima so it can take uh, extra time it is not guaranteed that it will take extra time but it can take extra time okay uh, the second thing it can be computationally heavy you can think like if you are multiplying one um, uh, one by 0 0.1 or something like that let's say 0 0.5 into 0 0.1 or if you are multiplying 100 by 55 uh, this so this will be very less expensive computationally less expensive so that's why we should always normalize our data so for that what i am going to do although in this case um, we do not need to because our data is very small so uh, we can normalize our data uh, let's normalize with the standard distribution so or let's normalize with normal distribution so that is uh, let's take u equal to np uh, x dot mean and uh, let's take std equal to x dot std and that is the standard deviation now our x is going to be our x is going to be x minus uh, 
u divided by std uh, now one more thing is that you do not want to normalize your y because if you will normalize your y then uh, your output your predicted output will also be uh, will also be in range of that normalized value then you will have to convert those values back into the original value that could be difficult okay so the best way is to normalize only x and uh, if we'll see x now let me just print x again now as you can see here we have some values like this but we do not have very big values okay so this is how and this will work even great if you are doing this with a big data this is the normal distribution that you can perform and i have done a mistake so it should be like this because it was dividing standard deviation with the mean first okay so let's run this again and i should run it from this point so now as you can see here we have all the values in the range of 1 or minus 1 okay so this is better now what uh, now we do not have to do uh, many things so we just have to call this function and first of all let's print, uh, show our data so plt dot scatter and i'm going to scatter x and y so this is we have this data okay and let's take plt dot show okay so we have this data and we want a line based on this so i think uh, 200 epochs may be much so let's change uh, let's also change that so i'm going to take the epochs as let's take only 50 i think that may be even uh, that even may be more than we need so let's uh, first take error list and uh, also let's take theta so it is saying that x is not defined okay so x is where the x is not defined i have used a small x somewhere and i have no idea where okay so for list i error error in a hypothesis hypothesis okay so in the hypothesis function i have used a small x uh, now let's try to run this again and hypothesis i have a spelling mistake so hypothesis i think it should be good now uh, let's run this again yeah so this is working fine now let's plot plt dot plot error list now you will see how error was decreased as you can see here and this was the error that it almost has a value of six or seven and now it is between zero point something and zero point uh, it is between zero and zero point one so this is how your error decreased okay so this is good and we have reduced the error a lot so let's just also get our hypothesis so what i am going to do is uh, okay so we want to show our line like here we want a line we want a line like here so we want to represent that so for that what i can do is i can get y hat using the hypothesis function hypo this is and in this hypothesis i am going to pass our normal x because i want our line on the basis of this so let's i'm just representing it so i'm going to take our x and we can pass y hat okay so this is uh, so this has y hat hypothesis x or y hat uh, it should not be y hat but it should be theta yes so hypothesis is taking x and theta so it will return our predicted values okay so let's do this and we have now our y hat so what i am going to do is plt dot scatter and i am going to scatter our normal data that is x into xy okay and i am going to plot a line plt dot plot and that line is going to be between x and y uh, y hat now plt dot show 
and let me also give some color here some other color here c equal to let's take red so now as you can see here we have a very good line we have literally a very good line so this is how you can do that and i hope that you understood all of these points because i have done all of this in matplotlib uh, tutorial series so you, if you didn't understand them then please go and check it out what i have done here i have created i have created an hyper uh, i have created an predicted value for every x that was our input so for this x 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 for every of these x and for that i have created a white value and now that i have plotted it so it is showing us like this okay uh, there is one more thing that we can do is now if you want to just get the values now so okay so let's let me just do this mm, so let's take some data so we have this data so let's take i want to get 0 0.5 so what I, I will do, I will do just this. So y, again y pred, let's take y pred and mm, hypothesis. In this hypothesis, what I am going to do is I am going to, uh, in this hypothesis, I am going to pass some value. So I want uh, my result on 0 0.5 and I want to pass theta here. So my camera is going to die. I should turn it off. Otherwise the video will not be recorded. Okay. So now what it is going to do, it is going to predict our Y. Uh, it is going to predict our Y value on the basis of just this input. Okay. So if we will do this, we have Y prediction and let's see what this prediction is. So what is the value of this prediction so that it is showing it is 88,726 so let's again plot this so we will have a better view and in this plt dot scatter i want 0 0.5 and i want y pred okay and i want the color let's take color to be uh, yellow or let's take green so i don't know whether you are able to see it or not i think it is clear now so we i gave the value 0 0.5 and it is showing that it is the output value that is near 88000 so i hope that you understood all the concepts here if you didn't then please go and watch all my videos on this linear regression again and i am sure that you will understand all the concepts so if you understood all everything and if you want to show your support then please subscribe to the channel like to the video like the video and i hope that i'll see you next time thanks for watching